So I just recorded this whole video <laughs> and it did not record. So um, this is the passion flower plants that I have. These have come back from last year. This is Passive Flora and Canarda. Um, this is the Maypop variety. So this is native to the Eastern United States, this part of North Carolina. So this has come back from a seedling that I had planted last year, the same exact spot. It's come back. You can see the tendrils as they connect and get onto the um, trellis. You can see the last years, those are just sitting there. I'm leaving them. I don't think they're causing any harm. But you can see it's just like a corkscrew. But um, this has beautiful flowers that I'm excited to show you. Hopefully within just a few weeks, we have, hopefully, I'm hoping that these are the flower buds. And if so, we'll have plenty of flowers um, and I'll be able to show you. There is another seedling over here that did not have a trellis right there. And so it has come back and I'm hoping it will get onto this trellis and fill up this other half here for that. And these are Maypop suckers that are coming up all around. Let's see, there were more. But um, these may pop suckers are coming up. I did not plant these. These will naturally, and there's another one way over there. Look at that one. Yep. But these may pop suckers, they just continue to spread. So this is going to become my may pop corner, apparently. And this corner is very shady. It's the shadiest part of my backyard. It might get maybe four hours of sunlight. So I did not think the may pops would do very well. But considering that it is spreading by suckering and it is just growing so big, I guess already taller than I am, but I'm short anyway. Um, so it is at least five and a half feet. <laughs> uh, but yep, so these are my May Pops here at the beginning of May in Rayford, North Carolina.